Sup people, this is J212 here, and today I'm playing Sailor Moon Super S for the PS1 or the Sailor and or Sega Saturn. And yeah, the reason why I chose to play this game or do a let's play is because I'm marathoning like the whole Sailor Moon series. Like all four or five seasons in preparation of the new remake that's coming out in July. And because why not? I like Sailor Moon. Back in the day when I first played this, this was really awesome. And the graphics were good and the gameplay was good. Well, well not really the gameplay, but I don't know. I thought this was. One of my favorite PS1s back in the day. PS1 fighting games, that is. But yeah, I was pretty young. Didn't know that much. Yeah, here I am playing it again. So, I'm gonna do a whole... Story mode. I'm gonna do a whole story mode here. And without enhancing any stats, let's see how I could get through this. Okay, so I'm going to select arcade mode, and I'm just going to skip this because, yeah, reasons. Okay, so you can only, in story mode, you can only pick the sailor soldiers from the, um, the inner, the inner solar system, including Chibi Moon, which is who I'm going to pick because of her small hitbox and her dive kick. In this game, you could customize your stuff like attack, defense, but I'm gonna go for a challenge and not customize anything. And I heard that there's a stat here that if you put it really high up, she'll just keep doing poses, which will leave you defenseless. So let's not do that. Just no stats for now. Or ever. But yeah. Okay, I'm up against Makoto. Just like in Street Fighter, uh huh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. She's she's pretty she's okay here. But I don't know, she's she's okay. The thing about Chibi Moon is she has like this dive kick that you could do repeatedly over and over again and Jupiter has a command throw. Well not really. And see how the projectiles go through her and it lifts? That's pretty cheap. Well except for some projectiles. She has more than one projectile here. She has the um, love heart sugar attack, I think that's what it's called, and her Luna P ball, and her death kick. has a super in this game. Let me block this face. Okay. Well, I was poorly executed. Let me dash back here. Okay. 
Oh, Jupiter one. Well, the thing here is everyone has like this super bar where whoever gets the lowest energy well once you get to a low energy you'll have you could activate a super and I'm getting killed by super here She, I guess she has that for an ass right now. Wow. Oh, that still hit me. Let's see if I could do a super here. There we go. Unicorn in the face. That's Pegasus, her little horse that ki that actually appeared in I think the fourth season, Sailor Moon Super S. Yeah. And when that horse appears, Chibi Moon turns into Super Chibi Moon, and Sailor Moon turns Super too. And they could do other moves. But yeah, in here, Pegasus just smacks everyone. And it takes out a whole lot of health. I don't know if it's unblockable or not, but some are unblockable and some aren't. I know Sailor Moon is blockable, but all the others aren't. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep dive kicking here. Yeah, another thing about Super, it has horrible startup time. Well, you could say that about all the other moves. You saw how it took like, I don't know, 30 seconds just to throw a fireball. Everything has horrible startup frames in this game. And some you could just jab, jab out of it. But some moves they have invincibility frames and what invincibility frames are like you can't touch them at all like Mars's flaming mandala mandala you'll see later I can't touch her while she's doing it I think the same goes for Chibi Moon oh look I'm facing Moon very early in the game usually she's like at the last part I don't know. Oh well. Well, Moon here, she's she's pretty well balanced. She has a she has her sailor t tiara, which is kind of like a doken, and she has a anti air, which is her silver crystal thing, and she has that um that Moon scepter one thing that could act like a projectile. And has invincible frames too on Stardust. Well, you'll see. She's pretty well balanced. See, that's her scepter. See how I can't hit her out of that animation? That's called invincibility right there. And I think she'll beat me here too. And that's her anti air. I don't know why she keeps doing that when I'm nowhere near her. And I'm doing horribly. Pegasus 
Pegasus in the face. Yeah, she was about to counter it with her super, but she was too late. I think Moon's startup for her super is pretty fast comparing to other the other Sailor Scouts. I think cause, I don't know, main character priority? She's supposed to be Sailor Moon, the name of the title, the name of the game. And that's pretty fast, that projectile. That's a thing. It's like a heart, a floating heart. I'm just gonna keep dive kicking her face until she dies or get hit by the anti air. Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay. Okay, Sailor Moon. Okay. Okay, Sailor Moon. Keep throwing me. I'm showing off all the moves that all the Sailor Scouts have. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was close. Damn, these are really good matches. Alright, who's next? Jupiter is down, Moon's down. Alright, um, let's see. What else should I do? Oh, there's Luna. Okay. Nope, Sailor Venus. There's a lot that I could say about Sailor Venus, but I'll say this first. Ah, uh, you know her move, the Love Me Chain that she got back in Sailor R? Yeah, remember when she does the startup frames for that and she whips out people? Yeah, you can't shoot it! Why can't you shoot at people? I don't know. 